Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. It's a bit of a foggy one today, but I hope to bring you some scenery. Now, just to let you know before we start this vlog, I'm filming on two cameras, been experimenting with the GoPro Max 360, and that is mounted right on top of the GoPro Hero 9. So bringing some interesting footage, hopefully. But mainly in this vlog, we are going to talk about a new backpack. I've got it on my back now, and it's the Low Pro 250 All Weather sling bag that's right that's right so let's go over some of the key features of the low pro slingshot edge 250 all weather sling bag i think i said it right this time and then when we finished having a look around on this glorious winter day uh, when we finished having a look around we will have a look at the equipment that i bring out and how i organize it into this bag so the bag is basically designed to take a dslr camera um, with a lens attached and two extra lenses and a flash and a tablet. That's the basics of the bag, what it was uh, designed to do. It's got lots of nice little pockets for accessories, as you will see, and uh, you can shoot straight out of the bag because it's a sling bag. So you can just sling it around and uh, get your camera straight out of the bag without taking the bag off your back. So can we have a look at the bag on your back, Rob? I hear you say. <laughs> well, that's why I brought the 360 camera. Maybe that's why I brought it. Let's have a go at an ambitious shot of uh, the bag on my back as I'm walking. Will this work? <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. So there's the bag on my back. You can see. Is the 360 camera working? Was it worth bringing? It's mounted on top of the GoPro Hero 9. And I'm just holding the camera above my head and uh, over my shoulder so there's the camera on my back i uh, hope it looks okay <laughs> okay so there's a little look at the uh, bag on my back maybe it looked a bit weird but maybe it was a good shot yes so one of the big advantages of a sling bag as opposed to a normal rucksack with the two straps is that uh, you can just swivel it around and you've got access to your equipment. Now, one of the things that I really like about this bag is how slimline it is. Its profile is really flat and that helps when I'm crawling through the woods looking for wildlife. <laughs> that helps a lot uh, because uh, I'm not snagging myself on, uh, on the trees, of course, and you get a lot of that with with the more bulky bags. Now, even though this bag is a sling bag with just the one strap here, as you can see, it does have a stabilizer. I hope you can see that there. And you just uh, click that on there and uh, that just stabilizes the whole bag on my back. And you just have to click that off and then you're back to the one strap and you can swivel it round. So really good feature that. But will my equipment be safe inside this little bag, Rob? I hear you ask. <laughs> you're asking a lot of questions today. <laughs> Uh, well, we find that the uh, smaller sling bags uh, don't offer as much padding. Now, there's a lot of noise here, and that's because we've got the mighty M62 over here. I'll let you have a look. And we've got Scamman and Dam at this side, so it's a strange part of the walk. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to continue talking to you when we get to the end, which is right over there. And there's less traffic noise. But have a look at the M62. nice smiley face <laughs> i mean him uh, now what were we saying the padding in the bag you might just be able to hear the motorway back there thankfully it's far enough away for me to talk to you again yes the padding in the bag your equipment will be safe of course inside this bag it's got a great padded divider system now the slingshot edge 250 is made from n100 nylon and it's got a uts coating and if you don't know what any of that means, and I certainly don't, it's made of really good fabric. But having said that fabric is brilliant, really hard wearing, water resistant, emphasis on resistant. Uh, it's not waterproof. So what if the heavens open? I don't think that's going to happen today. 
But what if the heavens do open? Is your equipment safe? Well, of course your equipment is safe. I'm not gonna to talk to you about a bag that doesn't have a rain cover. So yes, it has the all weather rain cover just tucked in underneath there, packed away, ready to just get out in a hurry to cover the whole bag and keep your equipment nice and safe in a downpour. We've still got plenty of snow here. Uh, Scammonden Dam, I think I mentioned it earlier, that's where we are, Scammonden Dam, have a little look around. Now I will say that I have taken this bag out, uh, the Low Pro 250 sling bag. I have taken it out in, uh, in bad weather, in rain, and I haven't yet had to put the all weather cover over. It is pretty waterproof, I've got to say. So yes, it does have the rain cover and that's a, a real bonus. In fact, it's essential. Now this bag also has a great feature for putting a tripod on the back, just a small tripod like a Gorilla Pod. I've got a Manfrotto Monopod on the back and you can have a look at that right now. So that's really handy. And I've been, uh, been thinking about mounting the uh, 360 camera in there, switching it on with the remote, on and off with the remote, if you know what I mean, and uh, getting some, uh, some B-roll, just leaving it rolling fixed onto them uh, tripod mounts and tripod straps. So if you haven't already gathered, the Low Pro 250 all-weather sling bag is really designed for when you want to keep things really compact and easy. So I've really enjoyed the walk today. It's nice and peaceful now, except for me banging on. <laughs> if you've made it this far in the vlog, and I'm, I'm really glad that you've been with me on this vlog, uh, by the way, or I would be all by myself, of course. If you've made it this far, maybe you are interested in my camera equipment. Maybe you want to have a look at that. Some people have asked what I carry around with me. So I'm going to just have a look now and show you how I organize my camera equipment into this little tiny bag. Okay, so here we are inside, of course, nice and warm. I'm gonna make this really quick. Thank you for uh, joining me this far in the vlog and you're obviously interested in what I do carry. So this is the maximum that I carry and uh, I'm quickly going to go through what we've got on the table and then I'm just going to pack it in front of you. I think that's the quickest way. So those of you that uh, follow my channel will know that I'd like to track wildlife. So the camera that I use for that with a nice long lens, uh, great for video and photography, a good all-rounder is a Lumix FZ2000. That's what we've got there. And I put that, if I need to, on the Manfrotto monopod. And that's the, uh, the five section one that packs the smallest. Uh, I've got a little light, little LED light there, the batteries for, extra batteries for the Lumix. In here I've got accessories like uh, batteries for GoPro and the GoPro Max, and some cables. Uh, the GoPro Max goes in there, so we imagine, we're recording on the GoPro Max right now, so we imagine that's in there, that's how much room that takes up. Um, wireless Go, microphones, and a uh, wind muff for the GoPro media mod, the GoPro 9 media mod. The GoPro 9, that's my vlogging camera, my main vlogging camera. And I've got that on the Fusion Grip because that's a tripod as well and it extends. So that's what I use. And I don't like to uh, take that off there. I don't like to take things apart. I like to just take it out and use it. I've got some water and my trusty binoculars. And that's all of this has to fit in this tiny little bag. So this is how it fits in. The light just goes in there. Two batteries in there. Accessories in the back there. Lumix FZ that way around so that I can just grab it and go. This just zips up like so. It goes around the corner. And when you open it, you can just grab your camera. It's great. So that's nice and safe in there. Something really good that I noticed on this bag, and it really sold it to me, was this section here, which you can see when I put my arm in, goes really deep. And I knew that I was going to put that in there just like that. So I can just grab that and use it. I can even have the microphones on there, the wireless go on there if I need to, and still stick it in there, because I can stick it that way if I want. So that's what I put in there. Little pocket there and a safety thing for your keys. It's a great little section that. 
that zips up just like so. Then we come to the top section. I put my uh, 360 camera in like that. Binoculars, just like that. Wind muff, just down the side there. Microphones, just there. There's a stretchy pocket at the back. Maybe I should have put that in first. Just these business cards, sort of uh, YouTube business cards. Always handy to carry around if you meet people and they're interested. Give them a card, they'll maybe subscribe. And if it's your first time on my channel and you're enjoying this vlog, consider subscribing. That just zips up like that. Water, I put the water in there. Little carabiner on there if I need to hang maybe a GPS device from there. And then lastly, as I spoke about before, two little straps to hold a little tripod, like a gorilla pod. I've got the Manfrotto monopod on here and that's it spot on so if you've enjoyed this vlog consider subscribing i upload vlogs every month if you have enjoyed it give me a like and if i don't see you through the month i will see you in the next one leave your comments in the comments section below bye